hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i've decided to do a voiceover as you can see the spots on my skin are actually fading and i'm very excited about that as usual we are going to start with our brows because brows define the face and definitely they, they do frame the face so i'm just using a spoolie to just brush them up and then next in this step i'm just taking a dark brown eyeshadow pencil and just creating the outline of the brows so that at least um, there's a shape to the brows, yes. Once you've gotten the shape that you want, and definitely follow the natural shape of your eyebrows, otherwise you'll just end up looking crazy, of course. And then here I'm using the Pastel Eyebrow Mascara in the shade Dark Brown. I would have loved it in black because um, I just prefer black eyebrows. I don't know for some reason, but I did get it in dark brown and I am using it. Just brushing it through the hairs. Um, make sure that every part of the hairs are covered so that at least your eyebrows can stay in place. And of course, we cannot fail to further define our eyebrows and to make them more visible on our face. And I'm using the uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn, specifically so that our eyebrows can be more visible. So we are just highlighting the upper part and the lower part of the eyebrows. And I'm just using a brush to make sure that the eyebrows are nice and clean because we can't leave the concealer as it is. So we're just blending out that concealer that we have applied and I'm just using a brush, a small brush to do that. Next, we're going to prepare our eyelids for eyeshadow and therefore I'm using the Maybelline um, and a Maybelline concealer in the shade uh, Caramel. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make sure that this uh, is applied all over my eyelid because it is the one that is going to act as an eyeshadow primer. So what the main purpose of an eyeshadow primer is just to make your eyeshadow more visible and also to make your eyeshadow last longer. Yeah, so it's best to use a... A few shades lighter than your normal skin tone okay as the title suggests this is a very simple makeup look that you can just do in a very short time and therefore i'm just using to going to use one eyeshadow color and i'm actually using neon pigments for this stage and they're just loose powders and this is in the shade yellow so i'm just going to apply it all over my eyelid using a brush then next I'm going to go in with eyeliner and the eyeliner that I'm using is in navy blue. I didn't want to do a black eyeliner because that is a bit monotonous. Um, you know, just something different. So I decided to go with a navy blue liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to create a wing uh, using this specific liquid eyeliner.
So I've managed to squeeze in uh, a pair of eyelashes or basically to put some eyelashes on my eyelids. And this next step is actually foundation and I'm using the uh, Clinique Even Better Foundation in the shade Spice. And Spice is a cool to neutral toned um, foundation. As you can see, it matches perfectly with my skin because my skin is cool, cool toned somehow. And... Um, I'm just blending it in with a beauty blender so that it can be evenly blended all over my skin. As you can see, it matches perfectly with my skin. And make sure that you get a proper foundation. After blending in the foundation, I'm now applying a Maybelline concealer. I'm back to the Maybelline concealer that was in the shade Caramel. And I'm just applying it in the areas that I want highlighted on my face, which is under eyes. Uh, the, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, uh, upper lip, and also on my chin. I have blended it all in. I lost the footage for the blending. But right now, I am setting that concealer with a powder. And the powder that I'm using is actually the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. That's the one that I'm using to set the concealer that I applied. And while that is setting, while the concealer is setting, I'm going to do my lips and I'm going to start off with a pencil just to line my lips. This is just a black pencil. So I'm just applying it all around my lips to line them or rather to make them more visible. The purpose of this is just to define them, to make them more visible against your skin. So I'm just applying the black liner all over And for lipstick, I'm going to use the Maybelline Sensational Liquid Matte. Yes, Liquid Matte in the shade as barely nude, uh, which is basically a very, very nude. As you can see, it's like I'm applying concealer, but it's actually a lipstick. And I chose this shade because I wanted a really neutral uh, lip. So if you really want a neutral lip, you can definitely try out this specific lipstick. So I'm just making sure that the colors are really, really blending together so that there are no specific harsh lines and demarcations. Like you don't have to see where the lipstick is starting and where the, the whatever, the lip liner is also starting. No. I'm also going to go in with lip gloss just around the lips just to make them more defined and more visible. And uh, the, I normally apply my lip gloss just strictly around my lips. I don't apply all over the lips and this is the iced by Victoria secret I think you guys have been seeing this on my channel like for a really long time but I really love it because it's really really shiny as you can see there's a bit of a difference now we are going to remove the excess setting powder that I had applied under my eyes and the areas that I had concealed um, the, which was basically the Sasha setting uh, buttercup setting powder that's the one I'm removing. And then now I'm going to go in with a black opal uh, setting powder uh, in the shade medium. This is the soft velvet uh, setting powder. I think it's called, the, yes, in the shade medium. Yes, and it's a black opal setting powder. I really love it. Very lightweight and stuff. So... I'm just doing it all over the areas that I did not apply any powder, any Sasha Buttercup. Basically the rest of my face. That is where I'm applying this Black Opal. So that was the final look guys don't forget to subscribe kindly subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video